Well, more than 60 million Americans experience heartburn at least once a month, and some studies suggest that more than 15 million Americans experience heartburn symptoms or gastrointestinal reflux disease, also known as GERD, each day. That's a really crazy statistic to think about, and here to talk about some solutions is Dr. Michael Antiporta with Premier Surgical. Thank you so much for joining us here today. Thanks for having me. Of course. Well, let's first just dive in on why it's important to keep um, GERD or acid reflux under control. Yeah, it's, it's important because it's a common condition and because there's a lot that can be done for it. Um, and reflux, it impacts people's daily lives. It impacts how they eat and eating is a social activity. Um, so when somebody has terrible reflux, their, their joy in life is taken away. Um, apart from that, Uncontrolled reflux can lead to uh, more serious conditions, um, and in some, in the worst cases, um, untreated reflux for for too long um, can increase the risk for esophageal cancer. Wow, yeah, so definitely something we want to be able to pay attention to if you're experiencing it. And you yourself perform surgery to help with this. Can you tell us what um, options people have in order to do this, especially if medication is no longer helping? Sure, yeah, I'd be delighted to. So, um, so the first line of treatment for reflux is, is medication in the form of medications that suppress the acid and beta in the stomach, uh, most commonly proton pump inhibitors. Um, apart from the medication, there are um, many things that can be done with somebody's diet or um, you know, have, um, behavioral changes. Uh, when someone has symptoms, though, that don't respond to those more conservative measures, then there's a number of um, operations and procedures that can be done, ranging from the least invasive um, all the way up to doing a robotic operation under general anesthesia. Um, so the, the, the least invasive way to treat reflux um, after um, exhausting medical management options. Um, there are endoscopic procedures that can be done. Um, here at Fort Sanders, um, we are doing transoral fundoplication, which is an endoscopic means of cre recreating the anti-reflux valve um, that's at the bottom of the esophagus to combat reflux. Um, this is done without any incisions, um, takes less than 30 minutes to do as an outpatient procedure. Um, sometimes it can be overnight if we have to combine it with a hiatal hernia repair. Um, but that's the least invasive um, procedure to be done um, for reflux. Um, apart from that, there are a couple of different um, ways to augment or reconstruct the sphincter. Um, some of these include doing, a, doing an operation using somebody's own stomach tissue to reconstruct the valve, and those are um, fundoplications, the most common of which is uh, the Nissen fundoplication, um, which is a um, uh, been been around for decades. First described in 1955 by a German surgeon. Um, what that what's involved with that is um, it's done under general anesthesia with a couple of tiny incisions. Um, but with that, we fix the hiatal hernia, and then to reconstruct the um, lower esophageal sphincter, we take uh, the upper part of the stomach and wrap it around the bottom of the esophagus like a collar um, to create a high pressure zone there, and that eliminates acid reflux up into the esophagus. Um, a slightly less invasive way to combat reflux is doing a modification of that, and that's called a toupee or a partial posterior fundoplication, um, which is uh, similarly uh, modeled with a creating a collar, but instead of a complete 360 wrap, it's a partial 270. And the advantage of that is that it's been shown in um, many studies that have equivalent reflux control, but a better side effect profile. Um, one of the knocks about the Nissen fundoplication is even if it, even though it eliminates reflux, um, it can be associated with things like gas bloat. Um, it's pretty much impossible to belch or vomit after a Nissen, um, and some people can have some trouble with swallowing. So the toupee partial fund application um, offers a wonderful alternative that's been well studied in randomized control trials. Um, the next option, um, which for some patients is the best option, um, is doing an operation uh, to implant a, um, a device called the Lynx device, um, which is a magnetic sphincter augmentation um, bracelet. It's a, a bracelet of titanium beads with magnetic cores, and it's surgically implanted around the lower esophagus, around where the sphincter is, and that recreates the high pressure zone of the sphincter to combat reflux. Um, but it's engineered so that it can um, open when you swallow or if you need a belch. Um, so that one um, most closely replicates the, the normal function of a of a person's sphincter. 
Um, so there are, there are a lot of options. Um, they range again from like endoscopic all the way to laparoscopic or robotic. Um, in my hands and you know a lot of my colleagues, uh, we prefer to do a lot of these operations with robot assistance um, because these can be done with the little mini incisions, um, just four incisions smaller than a centimeter on the abdomen um, to recreate the sphincter and fix hiatal hernias when present. Awesome. Well, great explanation there, doctor. And also, um, is there anything that you want people to know overall when it comes to dealing with GERD or heartburn? Yeah, I think um, I think the most important message I would um, give is is uh, you know just pay attention to your body and you know if, if something's feeling different or you know troublesome to you and keeping you from eating or you know if you're one of those patients who when you lie down at night you feel acid coming up. Um, it doesn't have to be like that. There are a lot of options. It doesn't have to be surgery. Um, medication can be very helpful for this. Um, but I would, uh, you know, I would urge um, patients to you know, talk to your doctor, talk to your gastroenterologist, um, talk to a foregut surgeon about your reflux, um, because you know, there are a lot of things we can do to, to fix that for you and um, make your life better. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. And where can people go to learn more information? Sure. Um, so our, uh, you can go to our website um, and uh, um, and uh, Covenant has some websites on uh, reflux disease also, um, and then you know any other uh, trusted healthcare resource such as Mayo Clinic or Cleveland Clinic. They maintain um, a lot of good information um, that the public can trust. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. And of course, we'll have more information over on livingeasttennessee.com.